What's up guys, welcome to your 49th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about inheritance. Now what inheritance is, is pretty much inheriting stuff from another class. So why is this useful? Well say we have um, two classes right here, tuna and pot pie. And in the tuna class we have a method like um, public void, we'll just name it eat. And let's say um, in this method, all it does is go system out print line, and then it just prints something like um, I am the eat method. And say if we had a bunch of different little food classes, and every single food class had this method. So tuna had it, and pot pie had it and say we had a bunch of other ones like chicken, liver, ham they all had the same exact eat method so then your boss comes in and tells you alright you know when you wrote the eat method and said I'm the eat method well we actually want you to say I am the eat methods with a s so now you gotta go in every single different class, class and change that one method and add a s on the end and you're saying alright I wish instead of having all these copies that I would have to maintain, if I could just have one single copy. So that's what exactly inheritance is. Instead of having all these copies in different classes that you have to maintain, you can only have one single copy that you have to maintain, and each of these classes can inherit that. So let's go ahead and copy this. And since tuna and pot pie are both foods, I made this new food class right here and what this food class is going to do is it's going to store all the things that tuna and pot pie have in common and right now they have this eat method in common so we can go ahead and get rid of this method right here and get rid of this method in here and instead of having all these separate methods and all these classes we only have to maintain this one method in the food class so how exactly does this work and how can we only have one method to kind of take care of well this is what inheritance is instead of having a bunch of different methods what this tuna class and pot pie class can do is it inherits everything the variables and methods from this main food class and whenever we do this the kind of methods that inherit the stuff those are called the subclasses and the stuff that they or the class that they inherit from is called the superclass. So again, these two tuna and pot pie classes are going to inherit all the stuff that's in the food class and the food class is called the superclass and the tuna and pot pie class are are called the subclasses. So how exactly do we inherit everything? Well, instead of say inherit from, what Java said is it gives it a new keyword name extends, E X T E N D S. And whenever you write extends, this means inherit from. So if you say public class pot pie extends food, this means alright, in this class pot pie, we're going to inherit everything from food. So we're going to inherit any variable that would be in here and all the methods. So let's go ahead and do that same thing from tuna. So public class tuna, this class, E-X-T-E-N-D-S, it extends food. So now anything that's in food is inside pot pie and tuna. Even though we can't see it, that's what we mean. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys that right now. So say we go or wherever your main method is right here, let's go ahead and make an object. So I'm gonna make my tuna, tuna, object and let's just go ahead and put new tuna let's just go ahead and make the same thing with pot pie so pot pie pot object I'll be JCT I know I figure it out eventually new pot pie so now we have a tuna object and a pot pie object I'm sure I didn't mess anything up so now even though we have no methods in here they inherited all the methods from food so we would use those methods just like we would anyone else. So this method is called eat, don't remember, and it's in pot pie and tuna, even though you can't see it. So let's go ahead and put tuna object dot eat and pot pie 
or what's it called pot object dot eat and see what happens and we're getting a error right here oh we forgot an equal sign there we go and now when you run this we see I am the eat methods and this one came from tuna and this one came from pot object so that's how you can have you can her inherit all the methods from another class using the extends keyword but what if you're saying alright you know, I have a bunch of different foods, and I know we only have two foods right now. This is just to demonstrate, but you're saying, all right, I have a bunch of different foods, like tuna, pot pie, chicken, liver, but I have this one class called tuna, and I want to inherit all the stuff from food, but I want to change this one method right here. Well, what you can do is override certain methods, and in order to override certain methods, you just put the method into the class, the subclass, and you recreate it. So then, if you say, all right, I am the new method of tuna. So make sure you uh, spell a couple things wrong there. And now, whenever you override something, you inherit everything from the food class, but the methods that you recreate, they're gonna override or overpower the methods that you inherited. So now if we go ahead and run this, we see this. Let me get it up for you. There we go. I am the new method of tuna, and this is the method that we overrode. And again, the, it's the easiest thing in the world. Whenever you want to override something, all you have to do is pretty much just create it again. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, well, it's pretty much as simple as that. I can't explain it any better. But that's how you override something. In pot objects, we didn't override that method. So that's why it got the default food method. And the last thing, or the last couple things I want to talk about real quick. If, say, tuna extends pot pie, and pot pie extends food, then tuna inherits all the stuff from pot pie and food. It's like a little hierarchy. So let's go ahead and delete this. And now, when tuna extends pot pie, it inherits all the stuff from pot pie and food. And the last thing I want to take note of is that only, let's go ahead and get rid of one of these objects. Let's go ahead and get rid of the pot object. Only the public methods can be inherited. Let me see how much time I got left. Two minutes. Only public methods can be inherited. So if you have a private method in the superclass, again, the superclass is the one that the subclass inherits from, and we want to change that to food. So right now, tuna is inheriting all the stuff from food. But food has this method in here that's private. What private means is, all right, you can't inherit this from me. In order to inherit it, it needs to be public like we did before. But when we put private, like this and try to run this right here we get a little error right here and it says the method eat is not visible so whenever we try to run it I'll show you the syntax error down here and then pretty much this is saying alright this isn't visible because food has a private thing that you try to inherit and use and you can't it's private it's not public so that's your real quick tutorial on inheritance and pretty much anytime you want to inherit crap from another class just write extends and extends is this a real fancy word for tuna inherits from food or tuna inherits all the methods and variables from food and again well that's it for this tutorial I already filled your brain with enough so that's your real quick tutorial on inheritance I hope I made it simple. I hope you guys can understand. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.